We got a one, a two, a three, and a hey now, metal mic coming at you. I'm in the bunker. Have I gotten any work done today? Well, we did a little bit of poking around. I went to Menards. I got some filters for the furnace. Bought too much candy, that's for sure. And bought one more of those uh, Star Master lights. You know, the ones that shine the lights on. It's the newest fad. Yeah, I have one. Picked up for 29 bucks. I picked up another one. So right now I'm just just got a text from my son. He just got on a school bus, so he texts me. And it takes 20 minutes for him to get home. So got about maybe 15, 18 minutes left. And what am I doing? Talking to you and going to eBay to see what's going on. Didn't get anything listed today. Uh, you know, I forged into those tubs with you. And I uh, found a couple of things I'm going to throw on, and uh, but I just didn't motivate to do it. I ended up listening to some Metallica, and then someone um, bought that barometer. If you remember last week, I did that video with that old Art Deco uh, ship line barometer. It was the glass with the peeling point, etc. I put that on eBay last week for $9.99. Went seven days, uh, no bids on it at all. And then boom. So I decided typically when that happens, what I'll do is I'll just uh, say F it. I'll take it to the flea market and just blow it out for what, whatever. But this time I was like, shit, you know. So I already had boxed it up. It was ready to go. And uh, I thought, fuck, let's just do a buy it now, 25 bucks. It took two days. Someone scooped it up this morning and, and, and bought it. So um, that's what I ended up doing. I ran to the post office and I went to Menards. Got some work done on that level, I guess. And then right now, I'm just bumping around on eBay seeing if anybody's listed any new German helmets. Someone had mentioned in one of my videos the other day about my Jewel album being a highly sought after valuable album. Yes, it is. Uh, the first press is. That's actually a uh, repress of it still bring some decent money, no, though not as much as the original. Um, I would, I will make a video specifically about my bathroom collection. I think, I would hope it's going to be on my list of new videos I want to do. I just picked up uh, the return combat issue first press. Paid 140 for it. Um, still sealed in the shrink though. It's got a slight bent corner on it, but you know what? To find one, that one doesn't bring as much as the yellow goat. I've got the yellow goat, and I'm going to sell that. I want $3,500. I was going to just flip it for $25, but fuck it. I want $35, and I'll, if not, I'll just sit on it until I get it. So let's see here. World War One German helmets. Has anyone listed anything exciting? Sure doesn't look like it. What I'll do is I'll do a search under World War One helmet, German World War One helmet, Imperial Germany World War One gas mask, World War One helmet, German helmet all by itself. I'll just click on every single one, then I'll do a search on Iron Crosses, and uh, you know just comb and see if there's any new listings. Sometimes I, I feel like you can get a good buy. Excuse me. Oh, very much. Sorry about that. I've already been up since I guess only 10 to 6, but man, I tell you, I wind down. It's only 1.39, and I can already feel it. It's crazy. I've probably run up and down the stairs a hundred times. Okay, World War I helmet. Someone just listed one. Hideous, though. Looks like someone painted it at some point with old lead paint. No liner, rusty. Oh, sad deal. Need to see those old helmets. Ah, have that happen to them. Gosh, what can I talk to you about other than just sit here and bullshit with you for a couple minutes? I wanted to make this short, but you know me, once I start ranting, you got the furnace running, you got the radio running, you got my mouth running, and then behind you, you got the dryer and the washing machine running. And they're playing some accept. Whatever the hell they're saying.
Is it fast as a shark or something? Fucking love it, Sept. I mean, you talk about a band that really uh, brought in the crunch guitars. Of course, Metallica were the ones who mastered it. But um, except Restless and Wild, you talk about a crunch fest, that entire album. So I'm not seeing any new German helmets on here. So I suppose I'm talking more than I'm looking. I cannot do two things at once. I struggle. I struggle, I struggle. But I'm going to try here. I've been watching this uh, Tupac album. I want that. I need some first press Tupac. Here's a beautiful Art Deco. Under, uh, if you're going to go on eBay, there's a, a truck that ends in 22 hours. It's Here's the title on it. Antique Art Deco Metal Craft. Pure oil toy truck for restoration. Um, looks rather large. It's really cool. It's got a bullet shape to it. Love it. want that. I'm boring you, aren't I? Yeah. I guess it's going to happen when you get reality like me. I like to have the pitiful content as much as the good content. So now I just pretend you're, you're sitting at my house and your ride's not here yet and you're stuck and you have to listen to me. That's what's happening right now. So what I'm doing right now is I'm searching under German Iron Cross and I'll look for newly listed. I don't see anything. I'll tell you what, German Iron Crosses are really getting um, mass-produced reproduction ones. You've got to be careful. Remember, um, with a German Iron Cross, uh, you can palm it. So if I can give you an example, I guess this lighter right here, palm it would be just place it right here in your hand and then, you know, give it some pressure. A real German Iron Cross will not bend I'm not telling you to break the fucking thing. I mean, obviously you could do it, but um, it will not bend under that kind of direct pressure. Um, or you can just grab it like this, by its two wings, put your thumbs in the center, and give a slight one. Now, a real one, is there's going to be resistance. A fake one is going to begin to bend. And, remind, and mind you, these are ones that are uh, magnetic and three-piece construction. And look, um, I mean, you wouldn't even doubt it. I think I've run across... I want to say three or four of them now, since I began to be aware of that test. So now that's always the main test. German cross, iron cross, anything listed? Nothing. See, every now and then on eBay, you can really get some great deals because you'll get a collector that maybe is, uh, you know, just cleaning his collection out. There, I really blew it a few months ago. Someone had a butcher bayonet saw, saw back. Um, I think it was 150. It had a slight bend to the blade, but man, it was nice. And it was gone within a day. I mean, they go quick. I seen a gas mask on here yesterday, German World War I. Guy had a 325 on it, buy it now, best offer. I sent him an email, I was like, what's your rock bottom? He said 270. Now, mind you, typically years back, the, uh, World War One German gas masks actually have dropped in value. Well, maybe not value, but in um, maybe they're not as desirable at this point for some reason. I don't know what, but they have slightly dropped back. A few years ago, almost every one that was in the can, if you had the mask in the can, um, was bringing between five and six hundred bucks. You know, on the low end, maybe four hundred, three. I'd say 375 up to 600. Really, that window was real solid though at 500 and over. People were going hot hog shit for them. And then a few years ago back, they, it just dropped, and the interest seemed to drop off. And I've seen them slip through the cracks for 200, 250. Well, the guy got back to me yesterday. He said for 270. But what scared me is it had a reproduction strap on it. And though I know the rest of it was original, you know. Eh, when you see one piece added to an original piece that's fake, then you begin to question maybe it's been pieced together, you know, and so that scares me. And what is pieced together? Does it really matter? No, but I like an all original, barn fresh, attic fine, dusty, patinaed, worn. This one was a little too clean, but at 270, there was hell of a, a, a 
room there, like let's say you had a shop. You could have bought, now he offered it back to me at 270. I could have probably hit him, I was going to hit him back with 225, but I just didn't do it. Someone else popped on it anyway and bought it. But, uh, you know, 250 would have been realistic and then put it in your shop for 500. So there's all kinds of deals like that. You got to remember with the German stuff. Uh, a second, okay, a second class Iron Cross from World War II, which is highly, de highly desirable, basically the top value right now for one, unless it's unique, a, a shinkle or whatever the fuck, brings about 125, 135 with the ribbon. Yet, the people that dare and put them on eBay, sometimes they get 300 plus for them because eBay tends to pull anything like that. But if you were at a flea market, you know, you could sell one, or if you had a shop, you could buy one for 125 You could easily get 250 225 for one in a shop. Now, are you pushing the envelope on the price? Yes. But uh, that's how the military collectibles go. The, that's what drives the price up, is sellers and dealers pumping the price up. And so whatever. Uh, you know, if you can get a German World War One Second Class Iron Cross for 35 bucks, 40 bucks, that's about the true value of it. They tend to be people tend to ask between 60 and 100 for them, but I feel best getting them for 35, 40 bucks. That's a good pop. 50 bucks is still cool. To 55, go out on a real special old one with some character to it. Um, I don't know. I guess there's just my little ranting about some German stuff there for you. Seeing if I'm, I'm trying to think into my mind if there were any questions that I needed to address that someone had asked me. Mm, not that I can think of. All right, guys. I ranted. I raved a little bit. I got 147. And my son is going to be home here in about six, seven minutes. The dryer and washer are out, out mouthing me, and so is Motley Crew. Everyone, have a good day. I'm going to go and just lose myself in the computer here, and maybe, just maybe, I'll list something and then watch uh, the Cowboys beat the crap out of the, the bike queens later today, and that will make my night. Everyone, across the globe, wherever you are, if you're a state away, uh, a county away, a country away, wishing you the best. Have a great day. Get something done. Motivate. <laughs> do what I preach, right? Not as I do or however the hell you want to do it. I'll just sit here and put my feet up and love it in the bunker. Oh, just loving life, man. Blessed. I was thinking about it today. I was laying there on the floor. Laying on the floor. I was waiting. I guess I was laying on the floor, kind of. What does it matter what the fuck I was doing? I was waiting for the school bus with my uh, oldest daughter. And I thought, shit, at 49 years old, man, I'm just blessed. I've lived such a blessed life at this point. Um, I'm just, a tear came to my eye, I tell you, because I, I just I'm so blessed to be here. I'm so blessed to just be able to bullshit to you and bother you guys with my, my babble and my attempt at entertaining you. And that's it. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Whatever the case, I hope you guys get some entertainment out of it. That's all I'm trying to do. And actually, it's just a, a sad way of hanging out with you, too. <laughs> and with today's technology, why not? Hey, I consider you guys all my friends. Have a good day. Stay above ground. Keep finding it. Find the treasure. Write to me about it. Find me some German helmets. Find me some iron crosses. Find me some Japanese helmets. I only have that one that supposedly was run over by a tank. I need something better than that. I will trade and give you a hell of a deal for those type of items. I also collect steel press toys, the real early ones. If anyone's got any of those things, German helmets, Japanese helmets, bayonets, uh, World War I, World War II, anything unique, cool, and they want to trade, I will put together such a package for you, you'll be stoked. So Metal Mike, for the 800th time, pay down! Subdued, right? Because I can't scream, or I'll get a pounding on the floor. Will he ever say goodbye, or does he just keep getting lost and keep going in a vicious circle of goodbyes? That's me. Goodbye. No. Goodbye. A million times. Uh, maybe I made you smile. I've probably irritated the shit out of you at this point, but whatever. Keep hunting, guys. Metal Mike. Fist bump! Stay healthy.